I can understand the uh, frustration, the anxiety, the concern that Canadians right across the country are feeling at seeing these numbers ride, rise. I share it. I think we're all uh, recognizing that we don't want to be in this third wave, but we're here. Uh, and as we've been doing from uh, the very beginning, we've been working very closely with the provinces and territories to ensure that they have the supports necessary to make the right district decisions for their jurisdictions. The caseload and the trajectory isn't the same right across the country. And what we've done as a federal government is stepped up so anywhere across the country, if there is a shutdown, if public health orders require people to stay home and they can't go to work, if small businesses are affected, our federal supports are there whether it is uh, direct income support uh, for workers who've been laid off, support for small businesses through the wage subsidy or through the, uh, through the SIBA business account or through the rent subsidy uh, with a top up for lockdowns, uh, whether it was direct support of well over $19 billion we sent to the provinces and territories to help them manage the, their healthcare situ uh, systems, uh, dealing with rapid testing, dealing uh, with uh, vaccinations, we will continue uh, to be there to work hand in hand and respect the provinces as they make the right decisions for their jurisdictions. Over the past week, the number of new variant cases has more than doubled. To date, almost 25,000 variants of concern cases have been reported across Canada, with B117 variant continuing to account for over 90%. All of these trends tell us that even as vaccines are bringing us closer to end this crisis, we cannot afford to give this virus an inch. In areas with epidemic growth, the only way to get out of this crisis is the hard way, by staying home as much as we can and consistently maintaining our distance and wearing a mask when we must go out.